Should split up to look for Dio. Will do. If I catch you goofing off, so help me out. Uh, Cloud? You got a minute? There's something I failed to mention about the Temple of the Ancients. You might call it a legend or a warning. Uh -huh. You see, no one who goes into the temple ever comes out again. No one. And I'm wondering if you really want to take everyone to a place like that. You said it yourself. It's just a legend. I did, aye, but... Let's focus on finding Dio and the Keystone for now. Decided to set up shop in the saucer. Great timing, eh? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. If there's a dress rehearsal today, Dio might be there. We should check it out. Greetings, Mr. Director! Hmm, he doesn't he look quite right. <laughs> well, if it isn't our friendly fugitives, you're looking hale and hearty. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery that the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. Hmm. It was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order, my ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> but still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. You must take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. Dio's Champions versus the Corneo family! Should my team fall to those rogues, the Gold Saucer will become Corneo Land! Flex it out! Training hard and getting those games! What's up, party people? What's up? It's a challenge from the dark! Find and notify! Give the people what they want! Take it in a team! But look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And here I was, lamenting my lot in life, when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. What say you? 
Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. We win, we get the keystone. Right? As agreed. You have my word. Then we're in. Then we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Great! I'll jog on ahead and tell the others that. The fate of the gold saucer rests on your shoulders. Don't let me down. for your big day. Best of luck to you tomorrow. I trust you. Knock him dead. <laughs> Here. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please. You gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. 
I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because... She'll die if she wakes up. Oh. You think? What makes you say that? Uh... Promise not to tell? When she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Huh? Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... But... she dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. <sighs> Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. Oh, okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what this scary man looked like? Please? His hair was long. And gray. Zack, did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Can always hope. Hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. Need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on them while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. No promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> Don't let her. Please. I won't.
I thought about what you said. Couldn't stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's up to, to each, each of us to find our own purpose in life. Because in Avalanche, I think I've found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's gotta be the night. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. <laughs> Take care. Biggs. No, I didn't... That's not what I meant! <clears throat> gotta find Elmira. Those are some pillow marks. You must have been out like a light. You know, there's a showing of Loveless about to start. And I've got two tickets to it. We should go. Also, the Skywheel's running a special for couples. Limited time only. For couples? As in... I'll leave that up to your imagination. It's more fun that way. What about the others? Forget about them. For now, anyway. Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me?
se qui capit donde ero scrit tre spellatores profitis contor punto Jesus et sia a star. Huh? Today's performance takes audience participation to the next level. With our revolutionary technology, you will become the hero of the story. Only you can fell the Dragon King and win the princess's heart. mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Garya. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger, while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Malfoy was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. Proceed or not to proceed?
These bars shall not hold me. I must fly free. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Alfred! Are you unharmed? Rosa! How did you find me? Your woeful cries could not fail to reach mine ears. She guide my place. Pride goeth before the fall, and I, Garm, shall deliver you to hell. How shall your feeble aegis fare against piercing fang and keenest claw? <laughs> You know not whom you face, nor that you stand in his dominion. For I am Barbados, the Dragon King. And by the draconic power that courses through my veins, I shall give you ample cause to rue this day. Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon's roar! seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ha, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. What is the future if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh.
What a splendid show! Never have I seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ha, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. The hellhound is wrapped with a hunger that only a fresh bone might sate. He yearns to bring his fangs to bear, to sink them into bone. Delicious, alluring and irresistible. And knowing this, you can surely bring him to heal. Whew, I am stuffed. Could eat another bite if I tried. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh. Pride goeth before the fall, and I, Garm, shall deliver you to hell. How shall your feeble aegis fare against piercing fang and keenest claw? May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh! I've seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ha, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. What is 
the future, if not the product of choices past. Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. Tremble in fear before the mighty dragons roar! I've seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ah, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. The Dragon King fears that which he lacks, none other than truest love, the strength of hearts conjoined. That singular weapon is mightier than the darkest magics or deadliest blows, and it alone can overthrow the king. Be still, my aching heart. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. Tremble in fear before the mighty dragons roar. display of swordsmanship, enough to prove his heroism once and for all. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring heroes and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is, indeed, such sweet sorrow. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. 
though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Spectacular! Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love. And so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. My love. Are you kidding me right now? Ah, cease the charade! Love is not but an illusion! Ah! Goddess above, let my blade strike true! tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love, and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart.
tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love, and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. My love. Alfred. of wings and broken I consign you to the abyss an inspiring victory truly proof that love indeed conquers all is it not <laughs> what awaits you at journey's end I wonder will the goddess grant you her blessing or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break, and you can dance no more. Alfred, look! Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. Rest assured. I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait, for I know that I will find you here.
with worn cobblestones Listening to people rushing past To rhythms all their own Life passing me by Not thinking how the years have flown Until I met you Go on.
What an experience. Could even call it life-changing. Guess so. Maybe you ought to go pro. You know, I just might. Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. Uh-oh. We gotta hurry. Last call, folks! Thank you for joining us for tonight's special performance of Loveless. If you'd like to continue the magic this evening, you're invited to use your tickets to the show for one free ride on the Sky Wheel. Enjoy a stunning view of the gold saucer and the dazzling night sky. Yes, name is where, and I'll get you there. Please line up here to wait. Hold on, dear Archibo. We've arrived at your destination. We ride the sky wheel at this time. Grab your friend or partner and embark on a wondrous trip through the sights and sounds of the gold saucer. Watch the adventure unfold before your very eyes. Each moment more breathtaking than the Are you last. ready to ride? This dazzling journey is sure to be one you won't soon. What do you think this does? Wow! This is incredible! Check it out! This is insane! Chocobo racing's nothing like that. Well, you would know. <laughs> You surprised me at first. You were just like him, and... It wasn't your face or your clothes. It was you. The way you walked. The way you carried yourself. Whenever I looked at you, I saw him. But you're not him. And that's okay. Because right now, I want to be with you. And I'm trying so hard to find you. But I'm right here. Yeah, you are. But... Hey. Did Tifa talk to you about, um... Hey, um, Aerith? I talked to Cloud. He said he remembers that. <gasps> How they were friends five years ago. What? I don't think so. At least, not about anything important. Oh.
just till the ride's over. Thanks for tonight. You're welcome, but I didn't do anything. <laughs> well, market warriors, you and me, we'll show them tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 